maybe in the past year that has elevated his game to where it is now, where he's talked about as one of the best players in the country? Yeah, I mean, he's gotten a lot better from, you know, when he came here. Um, I mean, he's always been really good at man, been able to, uh, you know, stay close to guys. He's very athletic. Yeah. Um, and I think his, you know, his knowledge of the game has increased a lot through this past year, um, especially, you know, the last couple of weeks and the last couple of months. Um, be able to understand, you know, different kind of coverages, what to do yeah. um, and where they're going to come at him. I mean, he's just, he's an athletic freak that can, uh, that can play with a lot of different people. And we talked in the past before about how you love to study film to get an edge on an opponent. Is Josh becoming one of those guys where you see him in the film room a lot, just trying to trying to figure it all out? I'm not sure on his side. Um, oh yeah, with okay. the DBs, um, the DBs. I don't know if they see him when they're a bunch by himself or not. Yeah. Uh, I just kind of focus on our linebacker stuff and, and some of the defensive stuff as a whole during Thursdays. But otherwise, I don't see him uh, yeah, much. Yeah, in a different room. Yeah. But yeah, I'm sure I'm sure he studies quite uh, extensively on that part and you know yeah. really in depth. When you look at um, JT Barrett, he's been around forever, it seems, mm -hmm. kind of like you. Well, he's been, you know, I mean, last week was an incredible performance. What do you see of him, and how difficult is he going to be in, to contain? Yeah, I mean, he's not a dual threat quarterback, um, which is always interesting to go against. You know, you have to be, uh, everything's got to be fundamentally sound. you got to have everything up front um, contained. Then you got to be ready for anything in the back end. So, um, I mean, they throw a bunch of stuff out there, and it's it's going to be hard. But you know, any game is tough, um, and you just got to be able to be you know brilliant at the basics with this kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, is it? I mean, I think that last week, you know, there, there was not on your side of the ball, but on the other side of the ball, small little details. Is that something that this week the margin of error is really small playing the team? I mean, once you get into any big game, and I mean, what versus a really good team that's you know ranked really high up there, uh, the margin of error has to go down, and you can't you can't make those mistakes that maybe you made maybe um, for a different team that's maybe not as good or you know different kind of athletes. So I mean, this is a this is definitely a time where you know the, the errors need to need to be minimized, and we need to you know come in there ready to go. Do you lean on the, I mean, last, I mean, it's eerily similar to Michigan last year, third ranked team in the country, gearing up toward the playoff, big favorite, you know, last year you win. Do you lean on that day last year as kind of like, hey, you know, this is a thing we can do? Yeah, I mean, you just look back at it, yeah. um, understand what we did, understand what we had to do during the week, though, um, mm -hmm. which is a bunch of hard work, a lot of film study, um, just putting the, try to put that extra edge on, you know, try to do that extra little thing, a couple extra uh, minutes of film every day. Um, so I think it's just a bunch of little things accumulating into, you know, the week and into that Saturday. So I think we did, uh, you know, last year. And did you 